Hello and welcome to UC Today. My name is Kieran, and today's session is empowering service providers to take control of their future. I am delighted to be joined by Mark Scherr, SVP of Product Marketing at Intermedia. Mark, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me here. Before we explore exactly how service providers can take control of their future, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself, Mark, and the work you do with Intermedia? Yeah, gladly. So um, I'm the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing. Uh, I've been in telecom and cloud services for just now 30 years. So it's literally been my life's work. Uh, at Intermedia, we are a cloud-based communications and collaboration service provider. And we go to market primarily through our large vast um, uh, series of partners all around the world. Perfect. Well, you're perfectly positioned to discuss exactly how you can assist these partners and assist these service providers going forward. Um, I guess maybe more of a state of the industry question. I wonder if you could pick your brain, Mark. What are the key trends you're seeing in the voice space You know, as we begin 2024? Well, <laughs> As much as we believe AI is probably uh, a bit of an overheated topic, it, it just simply can't be ignored. Uh, I would say AI is, is the top trend in the unified communications, collaboration, contact center space. I mean, look, you know, just a little over a year ago, generative AI hit the scene and um, it's, it's legitimate. I mean, this technology will help businesses of all size be more productive. And at the end of the day, that's what businesses are looking for, right? How can we be more productive? How can we um, take better care of our customers? How can we reduce costs where we can? These are all very important things for businesses. And, and I truly believe, and I think it's being proven that generative, generative AI um, can deliver these. We're, we're at the very, very early stages, but some of the solutions that are coming out now are having a, a real impact. And, and I'm excited to see um, what what the future holds. I, what the future holds, I think it's um, I think it's pretty cool stuff. No, hundred percent. Yeah, I think if last year was the the year, I, I, I keep saying this, but I think it's a really critical point. If last year was much about the Gen AI is almost an abstract concept, this year and the future is going to be all about the practical applications of Gen AI, where the everyday user is going to see how materially it is going to improve their lives. I think it's a very exciting time. Um, and moving on specifically to service providers, you know, I, I talk about empowering service providers to take control of the future, but that is a challenge and there are many challenges facing service providers today. Can you please go into some detail about some of these specific challenges that are facing service providers? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there's never a perfect world, of course, and, and, and everyone has challenges coming from every direction. But some of the challenges that, that we see the search provider having are the platforms they're using to deliver unified communications are, um, are not able to compete in the market today with the over-the-top providers. AI is a great example. So, so if you are a service provider and you're utilizing a soft switch and the, the stack that goes with that, um, you know, they're just not able to keep up. So you run the risk of not providing your customers with the latest and greatest technology, which creates a, a pretty significant churn risk. And, and anyone who works in the recurring monthly revenue business knows that churn is really the ultimate enemy of success. And I guess, you know, these are the challenges but for every challenge, there's always going to be a solution. There's always going to be a way to help address that challenge. And you know, Intermedia specifically, you were touching on earlier about how all these great relationship with your partners. How can Intermedia's technology support service providers to address these challenges? Yeah, great question. We can help the service provider move from a kind of hardware and uh, software license model, uh, let's call it a you know a CapEx model, to an OpEx model. We offer a born in the cloud, cloud-based solution for service providers that they can resell to their customers under their own brand, 
which is very, very, very important. So we're not asking a service provider to invest and build our brand. We believe they have the strong brand in their market. So number one, they can move from CapEx to OpEx. Number two, do it under their own brand and then offer a highly competitive solution for their customers that allows them to win in the market and uh, reverse any kind of a, a churn trend that they may have. And then they get all of the new modern solutions, of course, just natively like AI and deep analytics and fully integrated unified communications with contact center, which is what the business buyers want today. And, and you know, we'll touch on a bit, a bit earlier, but I'm wondering if we could just dive a bit more deeply into these the importance of healthy relationship with customers and how Intermedia can help facilitate that. How important is for these service providers, even you know, as you, you outlined that maybe the difficulties with all these massive UCAS um, platforms everywhere. How important is it for service providers to be maintaining these relationships, and how can you guys help them do that? If, uh, if you were to come and visit us at a industry trade show and you walked up to our booth, you would see the words, very large, by the way, we work for you. And that's, that is the, the, the motto that, that, that we live by with our partners. We don't ask our partners to work for us. We go to work every day for our partners. So, so what does that mean? When you are selling a solution that is cloud-based and um, a recurring revenue solution, we are only successful if and when our partners sell. And not just sell, but continue to sell and continue to keep their customers happy. So we take a lot of the onus there. I'm not saying that we are going to take direct control of the customer relationship. That is not the case. But we will do everything possible to ensure that our service provider partner has all, not just the technology, but the tools to be successful. So what does that mean? It means we'll make sure that they that we get them well integrated with our network so um, they can pass phone calls to us. They can load their phone numbers into our provisioning platform that we teach their salespeople, their sales engineers, their operations people how to use the system, how to sell, how to provision, how to onboard, how to support. We have a massive intermedia online university that we use for that. We don't stop there. Again, this, we are only successful if our partner sells something. So that means we provide not just marketing slicks and data sheets, but full-blown campaigns with videos and web content and emails and social posts that are easily rebrandable by our partners so they can go to market easily and quickly. We provide sales and provisioning and onboarding support. And then we provide our partners great technical support. Our partners will always be the first line of contact with their customer. It's not our customer, it's their customer. But if there's something they can't figure out or an issue that's too complex, we give them hotline right into our tier two, tier three, so we can help them resolve their, their issues and questions um, very quickly. And we call that a kind of a 360 degree approach to partner success. And again, I'll say it like the 15th time, we are, can only be successful if our partners are successful. Perfect. And one final question before I let you, do, you go, Mark. You alluded earlier to how GNI AI is revolutionizing the, the, the voice space. Um, I was just wondering if you could, is, are there any ways that AI specifically can assist su uh, support providers on their journey? Yeah, so the great question. So, um, well, first of all, it, it creates great opportunities to have, have sales conversation with customers, you know, how we can help streamline your operations. We, we put a lot of effort into our contact center solution um, where we use AI to transcribe calls and then, which is great, but sometimes the transcription is so long, you're not going to read it. We'll then use generative AI to summarize the transcription into a really concise few sentences. So anybody can look at the, the summarization and understand what happened during a customer interaction. And then if there was personal identifiable information that was passed, we'll automatically redact it. So you're on the right side of any compliance issues, right? We use AI to provide sentiment analysis. So at a glance, a supervisor can understand, you know, was this a 
was this a good call, a medium call, a bad call, or did it start good and then go really bad? So these are these are fantastic uses of, of generative AI, and we're constantly evolving on the um, and that that's all in the contact center for our um, for our knowledge workers. We have actually embedded a generative AI assistant right into our application. So um, just like with a, a chat GPT, for example, in our application, you can just ask a question and get an answer um, without having to go to a third party um, website. And we, we do it for free. It's, it's all part of adding value for our customers. We've even used generative AI to help end users find questions to their answers. So Traditionally, an end user has a question. Maybe they'll go to a knowledge base and try to find it. If not, they'll call a customer service organization and ask the question. In our application, when you click the little question mark icon, you get a chat window. You chat, hey, how do I mute participants on a video meeting? We use generative AI to pull an answer, and now it's done. You didn't have to you didn't have to go look further. You didn't have to call customer service. And of course, our service provider partners love that because it's just one less call into their support organization. Well, brilliant. Yeah, I think that's really exciting. I feel if we were to have this exact same conversation a year from now, I'm sure there'd be plenty of other use cases that you could you could showcase what all the amazing things that Gen AI are being used for service providers. <laughs> A road, a roadmap full of, of really smart generative AI uh, applications to help businesses be more productive and, and help service providers take better care of their customers. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, and, and I'm looking forward to the, the next conversation already, but I think that's what we've got time for, I'm afraid. But I've really enjoyed today's session, so thank you, Mark, for being here. Oh, yeah, it was great. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share on social media, and we'll see you next time. I've been Kieran Devlin of UC Today. Thanks for watching.